this video on this hairstyle. It's this super long ponytail, um, like a faux pony thing going on. Um, I was just feeling super lazy with my hair, and I wanted a cute hairstyle that didn't really require a whole lot. So I used this hair. It is crochet braid hair that already came pre looped It is by the brand Authentic, which stands for Authentic African Braid Collection. Maybe that's not what it stands for, but it's called Authentic. And then it is the Authentic African Braid Collection. And it is in the Italian perm Yaki texture. And it's the Weave and Braid DIY style. So the um, loops are adjustable and they're also removable. So if you don't like the already pre-installed loops, you can remove the little thing that's holding the loop together and you just have some loose hair. So this is what I use, a 1B of course. Okay, so to start, I sectioned off my hair and I left the hair around the perimeter out. So I left my edges out, basically. And then I took the hair in the middle and I put it in a bun. And I tried to make it as small and as tight as I possibly could. This is key so that your bun doesn't show through your ponytail. So the more hair you have, you really need to try to make it as compact and small as possible. And I am doing this on a old twist out. And so I'm not doing a whole lot of heat on my hair because I don't want heat damage, but I definitely did use a heat protectant. And then I'm just straightening it just a little bit. Okay, so here's the hair. You can already see it's pre-looped. So I'm taking my crochet needle, sticking it through the hair at the base of my bun, grabbing the loop and pulling it through. And then I'm gonna take the tail of the hair and pull it through the loop. And then you wanna adjust the loop so that it's super tight. So there's a piece of material that is um, creating the loop or that's holding the loop in place I should say and you just pull it down towards um, the loop to make it smaller and that tightens it in place and then you'll see here on the next one I end up looping it twice so I take the tail through the loop two times just to make sure that it's extra secure because it's not going through a corner or anything like that so I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to move around but yeah it's super easy and quick to install you just install as many strands of the hair as you want for as full as you want your ponytail to be and yeah that's it And then for good measure, I did take and put some of the crochet hair, crochet hair, I can't talk, directly into the bun. I just wanted to make sure that you couldn't see the bun at all um, because my bun did start loosening up. I didn't do that great of a job securing it. So I was like, you know what, why not? I have extra hair. I just put it right into the bun. This is optional depending on how big or small your bun is, but this is just another option um, just to make sure that you don't see any of your hair through the ponytail. Okay girl, now comes the task of putting this hair up in a ponytail. So I started sweating out my edges. Like I said, I didn't flat iron them that well because I didn't want all that heat. <clears throat> so in the process of me doing this hair, um, it is like 100 degrees outside in Phoenix, if not more. And I didn't really have the AC bumping because you're not trying to conserve on that energy. So my hair definitely started to revert. But I will get it laid again, so don't worry. But you want to just take and gather all of the hair up high. Or if you're doing a low bun, down low. Um, and then secure it with an elastic. Yeah, real simple. Look at these faces I'm making though. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this was a task. It was a lot of hair, and I was trying to get it as tight as I possibly could. So, don't judge me for these faces I'm making, y'all. Okay, so sorry this part is a little bit out of focus, but you'll get the gist of it. I'm basically just laying down my edges with some gel, brushing them down, then I'm gonna put on my satin scarf just to make sure that them things stay laid. And then I'm gonna take and my, take my flat iron and basically blend my hair in with the crochet hair. This hair does take up to 377 degrees heat wise. So you don't have to worry about, you know, damaging or messing up the hair. I'm, I'm doing it on a really low setting. I think I used about 300 degrees 
and I definitely use some heat protectant and I'm just going over it very lightly just to blend the hair this is optional you could take your leave out hair and wrap it around the base of the ponytail to conceal the elastic um that's one option but it's definitely up to you but yeah this hair did really well I combed through it brushed through it after all that manipulating and flipping and flopping around trying to get it in the ponytail it never really tangled or got knotted or anything like that so I'm definitely very impressed with this hair Okay, so that was super easy, right? Like, not much to it at all. Very straightforward and very simple. The biggest thing you have to remember is just to get your bun as small as possible because um, that makes all the difference and how easy it is to put up in a ponytail. Um, I definitely struggled a little bit with that. Can't even lie. This is my first time doing this hairstyle, so there's definitely that learning curve. But try it out. Let me know how you like it. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I appreciate you guys tuning into my videos. It means so much to me. And stay tuned for my next video. Bye.